Welcome to our lecture online and in our next example for uh, calculating the work done in a thermodynamic cycle we're going to use an isothermic process in our cycle and this is the isothermic process right here so we have first an isovolumetric process so we go from one to two then we have an isothermic process and then we have an isobaric process going back to the original state and so the question is what is the work done in this cycle and normally we'd say well it's simply the area inside this cycle but because of this curve here the area is very difficult to find and so it would not be a good approach what we're going to do instead is simply say that the work done in the entire cycle is simply equal to the sum of the work done in the first uh, process which is from one to two plus the work done in the second process from two to three plus the work done in the third process from three back to original state one so we're simply going to calculate the work done in each and add them up now the first one is easy because that's an isovolumetric process and remember in an isovolumetric process work done is equal to zero so we don't have to worry about anything there this is simply zero plus the work done in the uh, isothermic process well the equation is nRT times the natural log of the ratio of the volume and the end state which is 3 divided by the initial state which is 2 so it's going from 2 to 3 all right we do know the volumes at 2 and 3 but we don't know the temperature of the isothermic process so we're going to have to find out what that is and then we add to that the work done by the last uh, process right here from 3 back to 1 that would be the pressure times the change in the volume going from 3 back to one all right so the only thing we don't know is the temperature at this point right here which would be the temperature at two or the temperature at three so let's go ahead and use our gas equation right there to solve this for temperature temperature is equal to pv divided by nr which means that the temperature at point two is equal to pressure at two volume of two divided by n times r so pressure at two is two atmospheres so that's two times 101,300 pascals times the volume at 2 which is 20 liters 0 0.020 cubic meters because there's a thousand liters in a cubic meter that's the conversion to cubic meters there's one mole of the gas and R is 8.31 times joules per mole times Kelvin all right now uh, I need a calculator find out what that is equal to so we have 2 times 101 300 times 0 0.02 divided by 8.31 equals and that would be 487.6 Kelvin so that would be the temperature of our thermodynamic cycle which means that's the temperature that goes in here so we have uh, 0 plus 1 8.31 joules per mole times Kelvin uh, times temperature now we know that's 487.6 Kelvin times the natural log of the ratio of the end volume to the beginning volume the end volume is 40 liters beginning volume is 20 liters so it would be 40 over 20 like so and notice that this is going to be a positive quantity because the natural log of a number greater than one is positive so this is positive work done which makes sense because we go from left to right on the PV diagram um, I didn't put my P's and V's down so there we go and then finally plus the pressure from going from 3 to 1 which is 1 atmosphere 101,300 pascals times the change in the volume which means final volume minus initial volume that's 20 liters minus 40 liters because we're going from right to left so that's 0 0.020 cubic meters converted to cubic meters minus 0 0.040 cubic meters all right so now we should be able to figure these out so we multiply that times uh, 2 take the natural log of that equals times 8.31 equals and so we have this is equal to 2809 joules hmm, let me work that out just again so 2 take the natural log uh, times 487.6 times 8.31 equals 2809 joules and then that will be a minus that's going to be a negative quantity 0 0.02 times 101 300 equals that's 2026 joules negative work and so the net amount of work we do there is 809 minus 26 equals 783 joules that's the net work done 
in this particular cycle. It makes sense. Zero work done here, 2,809 joules of work done there, and then we we'll come back over here, 2,026 joules coming back to the original state. Add them all up, you get a net amount of work done of 783 joules. And that's how we do a problem like that.